B B B Jones, and we are in Chaldeum. You know, I always start off like that. Right now, we go into the road of Al Carnet, and it's find the Kasim Outpost. Um, one thing I haven't done recently is go over the skills I have, so I'm gonna do that real quick, just so everybody knows. Um, because I've gotten some new runes and such, so we want to make sure that you're aware yeah, sure, there's of what abilities city, but I like you it could be here. using. Better view. Ooh, no pesky gods. Oh no. What I need is cuffs. Ooh. Those are booty. Booty shooty. Okay, I sold some stuff on the auction house, so I got some more money, and now I've got the entire thing. So, one thing I like to do is the front page is all gems normally, rings, and amulets. So, then this page is all yellows. Which I'll probably just speed this up in the video, so super speed. Five, four, three, two, one. it this is kind of how I do my stash um, I'm really messy with it so every once in a while I just clean it up like I just did this area with the gems actually gets larger as you get more gems but it's gonna be a while before I go any higher than the next step I'm going to check on I'm going to keep this for when my Templar reaches what level 18, I and this right here, level 10, I'm going to check to see if this is a better shield, so let's do that real quick, which it is, so go in here, give him this. Good thought. Then check this 19, 19.6. Give him this weapon. I can't. Oh. I thought this was a, oh, it's a two-handed. I'm bad. Ah, good. Ah, good. A fine choice. Three to six damage. That's pretty good. Put this in here because. So basically, this will be for the Templar, plus I need to get rid of the gem whenever I decide to sell it. So basically, this first one will have a few blues for my Templar, and 
enchantress or whatever as well as any relics that I may want this is all yellow items that I may be able to use seeing how this is my lowest level character if this character can't use it none of my others will also once I reach level 15 it's unlikely that I will use anything that does not have sockets and then this the last tab is normally legendaries so that's kind of how I set up my stash now let's go over here and do our thing Check to see what hey, look, I heard you came here from Tristram. My family came from there. That place has had some very bad luck, hasn't it? Okay, everybody, now I'm going to go through the skills real fast because I haven't done that in a second. So let's check it. Numbing dart is new. Toxins in the poison dart reduce the target's movement speed by 60% for two seconds. It's okay, but it, splinters is better because it shoots three poison darts that deal 60% damage as poison. Corpse spider, we have leaping spider. Summon jumping spiders that leap 25 yards to reach their target and attack for a total of 144% weapon damage as physical. Plague of Toads, release a handful of toads that deal 130 weapon damage as poison to enemies that they come in contact with. This is a very slow ability, so it's not one of my favorites, though Rain of Toads can be pretty good later, but I normally stick to Fire Bombs, or poison darts, which that's what we're going to stick with. Grasp of the Dead. We already had Unbreakable Grasp. We got this just our last uh, level. It's uh, Groping Eels. Increase the damage done to 416% weapon damage as physical, but Unbreakable increases the slow amount to 80%. Now, one thing about that is I'm going to go uh, groping eels instead because it doesn't really matter that it increases the slow amount. What's more important is how much damage it does because I have such a high damage output that's just better to do it that way. Zombie dogs, rabid dogs, which we already had. Horrify, we have phobia. Increases the dur duration Horrified enemies run in fear for six seconds. Horrify is good, especially for hardcore. Um, in in higher difficulties, you might want Horrify, especially in Inferno, because it's a good panic button. You can do it and make all the enemies flee. So in higher difficulties, it is quite good. Soul Harvest. We have Swallow Your Soul. Gain 27 mana for every enemy harvested. It's okay. Um, more than intelligence gain is better. I mean, you gain 40 intelligence for each enemy, which is just basic. So you would get both. You'd get that and the 27 mana. So this is good, but we're doing so much damage already that if we did this in conjunction, it would just make it way too easy. Um, sacrifice, banish your dogs, that's okay. Zombie Charger. Basically, you fall, call forth, yeah, we already had that.
and that's it folks um, let me go to the passives real quick these are all the same ones but uh, maximum mana increased by 20% regenerate 1% of your maximum mana reduces all damage taken by you and your pets by 15 and circle of life when an an enemy dies within 12 yards there is a 30% that a zombie dog will automatically emerge the range of this effect is increased by items that increase your gold pickup radius enough with that let's go to the black canyon bridge Oh, I forgot something. Well, we'll kill these people first because a mighty adversary is before us. So come this way real quick. I forgot something. This is socketed, so intelligence is what we want. Well, or we could get Vital. What's my life at? My life is pretty good. Higher difficulties, you'll put more Vital, but for now, we're good. The Kasim outpost is always towards this direction, so. Oh, snap. Go something, something. Help me. I don't want to die. Doctor is super overpowered. Oh, Pete. Oh, junk and trunk. What'd you say? How much junk you got in that trunk? Junk and trunk. Junk and trunk. See, my zombie dogs can practically run because of all the that I have. you get the bounce thing, you die. it really makes it easy to just make it all bounce, you know? Oh, the outpost is right up there, but we're going to keep, because there's either a dungeon or some more elites over here, so just keep looking. There's probably a dungeon. Oh, my God. 
That's a good thing for Inferno. Recently, I have to check that out. I'm not really sure what that does. Blues and yellows fall from the sky like water. Like diamonds in the sky. Oh snap, here we go. How many suns does this desert have? As normal, super speed is commencing in five, four, three, two, one. Super speed is done. That's right. We totally annihilated the competition. I ran into a little super lag. I was worried. It's a good thing that I have the socketed items that I have because I probably would have died if I didn't have so much health. And so we're gonna actually do this part, I think. There's something odd about them. You must open the gate. I need to go to Alcatraz. See, these purple guys are a bunch of... Uh... Here you are. Delivered unto me. There is a sacrifice here. But it is not I. Your master sent you... No! He would never betray me! Strike her down! Your master is the lord of lies. You matter not to him. Pretender. Not a what moment that too they soon. Used to call they plan to sacrifice school. us to Belial. Iron Wolves! I'm a pretender, but something with a P. Has Magda. Yes. Then you must. Back to the place, Chaldeum, the hidden camp. Come to the salvage real quick. I doubt any of this stuff is good. Let's check out. Mm, let's 
better than what I got. just got 28 in that little run. We've already got 81. Sweet. Anyways, folks, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we're gonna slay Magda, that old hoe bag. She ain't got nothing on Junk and Chunk. We're gonna shank that hell. And then we'll continue on. Maybe uh, go underneath the Chaldeum or something real quick. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on D3 at B Jones Games, pound sign 1115. Till next time, B Jones out.